Welcome to Kids Inventor. The YouTube channel where we build invention ideas that have been designed by kids. And today we're bringing to life seven-year-old Florence's dancing and farting robot. It's a robot that farts. Let's build this. Kids invent stuff. So this is six-year-old Erin's toilet cleaning robot and if you've been watching the channel for a while you will recognise it from our engineering musical. If you don't, check it out. Even if you did watch it the first time, it's a good laugh. But this robot was designed to clean toilets and it did it very well. Kind of too well because both of its arms are now broken and it needs a little bit of fixing. So we thought it'd be the perfect base for Florence's farting and dancing robot. From toilet cleaning to farting and dancing. First, we made the arms for the robot using some grabber toys. And then Florence's robot has a disco ball on its head, so we added a motor for that. We cut out some holes on the front for some speakers. And then it was time to paint. Primer and then top coat. Lots of painting. So Florence's robot is going to fart. But the slight issue we have is you can't see a fart. So we need to have some way of showing that it's farted, particularly as this is a YouTube channel and this video would be very boring if you couldn't see it fart. So we have some options. We're gonna start off with smoke. Here we go. Smoke machine. Smoke machine. Do you turn the extension lead on? <laughs> Ruth didn't turn the smoke machine on. Do we have a smoke machine? Oh, Ooh. there we go. Oh. Oh. You've got to remember this would be going through a bum. I mean, it does look like it's on fire. It looks like smoke and it's a bit boring. Smoke machine looks like smoke, weirdly. Not like a fart. Smoke pellet. Let's give this a go. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, it's like a like a purple fart. That definitely looks more interesting than the smoke machine. Oh, it looks good on camera. You definitely know someone had farted. The only issue we have with that is that it needs fire to set it off. There is another way we can set off a smoke pellet that doesn't involve fire. And that's our third option. This is like a smoke grenade. So instead of using fire to light it, you pull the thing. So let's see if this is, should we give it a go? Three, two, one. And we don't want to spoil the surprise of that. So you'll have to wait for the test to see in action. It's so green. I mean, farts aren't that color, but they definitely should be. That's a winner. Smoke grenade for the win. It's great. Also very warm. I might put this down now. And then it was time to give Florence's robot a bottom. So if you're watching that and thinking, why are they sticking a piece of plastic pipe to some metal? They could get some steel pipe and they could weld it. Yes, yes, we could, but steel pipe is expensive and so we're trying to use what we've got but if you want to help if you want to help us build bigger and better things then sign up to our patreon uh, become a patron of the channel there'll be a link in the description so we banged some metal so we could attach a linear actuator so we could activate our smoke grenade so this channel isn't just for kids but we do build invention ideas designed by kids so if you know of any kids who might like their invention ideas sent to life then you can send them to our website where they can upload a drawing or a video of them explaining their idea and we might build one of their ideas very very soon so one of the things that's really really useful to us to be able to do all of this and get funding to bring to life kids invention ideas is to know who is watching our video so sean and i are going to ask you a massive favor there is a link in the description to an audience survey please please if you could fill it in uh, everyone that fills it in uh, will be entered into a prize draw but actually what it really does is it helps us to get more funding to be able to do bigger projects and to be able to make sure that what we're building is what you want to see so if you have any thoughts or ideas go to our audience survey thank you fill it out people once everything was painted and dry it was time to reassemble the robot how do you do nice to meet you we added buttons and some lights to help reflect off the mirror ball. We installed our speakers, a battery to power everything, and finally... Hallelujah. So like on Florence's drawing, we've given the robot some speakers. These lovely dancing robot arms. Luna approves. Hi. We're just trying to do a bit to camera. Don't mind about us. We in your way. Really helping dog, thank you. And then it was time to test. The whole world is searching for love. And sometimes we realise it. And sometimes we don't. But what happens if the kind of love you find is just totally unexpected? Ooh. Could you go against the grain to embrace a love that's truly special? 
I've met someone and they're so, so amazing. Coming to a cinema near you this summer is a movie that will completely change how you see love forever. A movie that changes the future of romance and asks the big question, what would you do if you discovered the one you love had a dark hidden secret? A secret that could change everything. stay and dance, knowing that this dark secret could strike at any moment? Or would you leave and risk missing out on a love that's truly unique?